Hi everyone! Well, this week I was planning to put some 3M4200 on my engine mounts and I got a late start today because I had to work overnight on the domestic violence helpline I work at sometimes so I didn't really get it together to get up super early in the day so that I could have the whole day to do it because with the 4200 in this weather it's in the 40s out and that would need to cure all day even though I got the fast cure I'm betting it would take all day for it to cure and I would want the sealant to cure underneath the angle iron on the mounts before I lower the engine again because I don't want the weight of the engine to just flatten it all out because the whole point of that was to create a buffer um, for some shock absorption for the vibration. Um, so I got this all rigged up. I went to Limbach Lumber and I got a whole new um, a pair of 2 by 4s because my old 2 by 4s that I was using last summer had been left out in the rain for a few months and I didn't really trust the integrity of that wood anymore. Um, so I got these new 2 by 4s and I screwed them together and I had this all set up but then I realized that I really don't think I have time to do it today. But at least I got it all um, prepared for next time and I think next week is going to be more low-key in terms of my workload and I'm gonna try and get up super early like like 5 a.m. on Tuesday or Wednesday morning so that I can just um, get in there and do it then but for today I still wanted to have an episode so I'm gonna do a bit of a lighter project I have my winter cover up because it's rainy season um, but I don't have sandbags for my winter cover and last year when I had it up, I just kind of did like a little makeshift solution. Uh, I like I hung a few fenders from it um, and it did it did fine like in terms of just not having the cover blow completely off the boat, but I really knew that I could do better. And I don't have time to make a bunch of sandbags um, right now when I have all this other stuff to do. So I came up with another solution. I got um, some little fenders. Uh, these are the smallest fenders that we sell at Fisheries Supply, uh, the Polyform G1, and I got them to be the same color as my boat cover. So I'm going to fill them with water um, to make them comparably heavy to a sandbag. And to do that, these um, the little ones don't have valves in them, like the G2s, the G1s and the G2s don't have valves, but all the bigger sizes have a valve where you can um, fill it and um, deflate it. Um, so, but the bigger ones with the valves were too big for this application. So I got the little ones and I decided that I was going to poke holes in the top uh, so that I could fill it with water and then like tape over those holes when I'm done with something like Gorilla Tape. But first I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff I rigged up because I need to close up the engine room so that I can actually walk in and out of the companionway. I start, I poke the hole with uh, scissors like this and poke, started the hole and I go push all the way down to the widest part of the scissors that I can get in there and it needs to be surprisingly wide. It needs to be wide enough to fit around my sink faucet, which isn't that big, but um, usually, so when I, when I get the scissors as far as I can in there, then I grab my knife, my pocket knife here, and go further. Just being very, very careful. significantly wide here. There. That might have been a little too much, but oh well. Because at the end I'm going to tape it with Gorilla Tape. So 
Now that I've got that, I'm going to take it over to the sink. And now I'm going to fill it up with water. Put it right around the faucet. It barely fits under here. Just fits when I get when I put the faucet towards the edge of the sink. There we go. So now I've got the sink fully in there. Just fill it up with the foot pump. Filled it up just a little bit too much. Okay, I'm gonna let some of this water out because we don't want it to be always dripping out that hole. But we want to keep enough in so that it is still heavy, close to the weight of a sandbag. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's right up, still right up here. Yeah, this will be just about fine. It's still pretty heavy. Before I go out there and put that one on, I'm gonna fill up all the rest of them with water so I can do them all at the same time. I'm gonna count how many pumps it takes to get full. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, nineteen. <laughs> So I think this time, I'm going to stop at 17 for the next one. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, time to move all of the fenders outside and first I I'm using this string this rope it's called tie it braid and it's not very strong it's not very good but these are really I don't know. I don't know if it's strong enough for the... I mean, it's definitely strong enough to hang the... But it's strong enough to hang like a 10 pound thing from. I mean, every rope at fishery supply is strong enough to hold 10 pounds. It's probably strong enough to hold like 100 pounds. I don't know. But a couple half hitches on the fender end. And then there will be a couple half hitches on the boat cover end too. Um, and I'm going to get some electrical tape. I love electrical tape. So I've only, I've done about four of them now and I've done them in the area where it goes around the spreaders on the boat cover. So that's like the very center of it because I thought if I only had time last week to do a few, I would do it where the cover um, goes down. I would do it at the center. Um, so, and it's definitely been holding it down there, but the back of the cover has been flapping off the boat 
um, like I had it along the I have it along the boom and I woke up in the middle of the night to it totally unrolled all the way back to the mast um, so then I put some carabiners around here to keep it back and it's working fine but I just like to have it weighed down a little bit more That's it for this week. Uh, it looks like the fenders are doing pretty well distributing the slack on the cover and everything looks pretty even. We're not going to know for sure how well it does at um, keeping the cover from flying off until the next big windstorm. So I'll let you know how that turns out. Have a good week.